Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're in Variant 4, Chapter 1, and this is quest number 2, the last quest. And the easiest path that I found was the one to the far left. In spite of that domino as a first fight, uh, you may want to take a look at the other paths, see if there's one that you feel is easier, but if you look at the uh, buffs, they seem pretty straightforward and simple to deal with. Now, of course I'm running Ghost, but you'll notice that I also brought uh, Voodoo. That's because I scouted the path out and I saw some of my opponents and Voodoo was a great counter for those opponents. So I decided to go ahead and bring him in. He was not just a prestige ranker. All right, so down goes Domino, quick and easy. Ghost took care of her, no problem. All right, next fight up is Red Skull. Now Red Skull has a lot of armor ups. And this is why I'm going in here with Dr. Voodoo because guess what Dr. Voodoo can do to all of those armor ups? Well, you're about to see, but he's pretty straightforward to fight. You don't want to hit into his block and you just want to bait out those heavies like you see me doing there, uh, bait out the specials. Most people have a hard time evading that special two, so you probably want to stick to the special one. And boom, I just converted all of that to poisons. At this point, the fight is pretty much over. Uh, I don't think he had enough to, you know, enough poisons to take him out completely, but with a few hits, I could just let the poisons do its work. So very easy fight for Dr. Voodoo. All right, next up, let's see who we got next. I'm trying to remember uh, who we got next. Uh, oh yeah, Hella. So Hella, is again straightforward the only tricky thing about hella of course is that little cheat death mechanic that she has but honestly all that does is make the fight take a little bit longer if you know what you're doing uh, her specials are fairly easy to avoid she does like to fire off her heavies but of course with ghost it's not really a big deal we're just going to keep phasing and hitting her Sometimes I'll do a few more hits so I can get to my special two a little bit faster. Fire that special two off. Phase out the recoil damage. Since I have the hood synergy and I'm running suicides. And now we just want to bait out that special two. Which is also pretty easy to, you know, evade. And she's just not one to throw it. So I said, you know what? Let's just go. Since she don't want to throw it. And since I have the hood synergy, I pushed it to a special three since she did not seem to want to throw that special two, but you'll notice I'm not taking any damage. That's the hood synergy. You don't take any damage with ghost while phased. So once I pushed her to her special three, I immediately phased and you saw how quick she was to fire that special three. Sometimes the AI gets like that. They get into this all or nothing mode, even though the node doesn't say that. And so it's really nice to have something that can deal with that. All right, so the next fight is Thor Ragnarok. Now, with Thor Ragnarok, what you got to do is you have to keep track of the hit counter. If you get him to 20, he's going to start getting this power gain, and he's going to go right to that special three, unless you get lucky and bait out his specials. Uh, I have survived doing that before, but all you need to do to cancel it is to hit him with a special attack. All right, so one of the things I need to improve is when I parry, usually it's accidental, I need to fire off a heavy attack, try to build up those furies, and if I had some furies at this point, I would have probably been able to uh, take him out early, but without the furies, we still managed to take him out because we got him down low enough. So you saw that he was starting with the power gain, but it didn't matter. And he will continue to power gain until the very last hit of your special. That has caught me in the past. All right, so next up, we have got King Groot. 
And guess who's coming in for King Groot? My boy, Dr. Voodoo. So a little story. When I got Dr. Voodoo, the very first time, a four-star Dr. Voodoo, I was able to use that four-star Dr. Voodoo against the uncollected uh, mode King Groot. And he just took care of him very, very quickly and easily uh, because King Groot is not immune to poison. And when he gets all those Furies, if you wait until he gets those Furies, you can convert them all to poisons. You also have all of the Loas on you on him as well. So since I had already pushed myself to a special two, I decided to go ahead and fire that off. And so now I'm doing a power burn because I did it on an even combo, which is what most of the time you want to do. And now I'm just getting to a special one, fire that off. I didn't have all of the Furies, but I did have that regen and a couple of Loas. And you can see he's just melting away. Dr. Voodoo is an excellent counter. Anytime I see a King Groot, I think Dr. Voodoo. He was the first counter for King Groot for me, even as a four star. He took care of that uncollected mode very, very easily. All right, so King Groot goes down and now we just have one more fight. We have this Deadpool X-Force. Now, this fight is pretty interesting, okay? And we're gonna take a look at the nodes and I'm gonna talk to you about one of them, that fundamentals right there. But you can see the other nodes that he has to, uh, that you're gonna have to deal with. That Mighty Charge 2, you have Mighty Charge 1, 2, I forget how many, uh, but that's a very annoying node uh, because with Mighty Charge 2, he on the medium dash is gonna be immune to debuffs, so don't try to intercept him, and he's gonna be unstoppable. All right, now, let me tell you about the fundamentals. He will not fire any special, so you're not gonna have to worry about him firing off a special. I'll just check in making sure that I am recording at the end of this uh, fight here, <clears throat> at the beginning of the fight, rather. Uh, but anyway, he's not gonna fire any specials. When he gets to one bar of power, he's gonna get a lot of block penetration. When he gets to two bars of power, all of his attacks are gonna be unblockable. So you're gonna see that in a moment here, boom. He's unblockable. When he gets to three bars of power, all of his attacks are not only unblockable, but if he charges a heavy attack, it's gonna deal 1% of his attack as direct physical damage. So that means you don't wanna spend a lot of time trying to uh, block or bait out uh, any, any heavies because you're gonna get wrecked. So as you can see, Ghost is the perfect counter for this fight. You just need to make sure that he um, attacks twice before you hit after the phase. So that's it. That's gonna do it guys for this. I hope this helps you guys out. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.